find the measure of the known marked angles, the figure is not drawn to scale. So we have a bunch of straight lines intersecting with one another. Some of the measures of angles are given. We need to find the values of x and y. Well, you can solve this problem in many ways. I'm going to do it in this manner. Uh, I'm going to start with this angle. This angle has to equal 120. Why? Because 120 plus 60 is 180. So this has to equal 120. Now, these two angles form a linear pair. If this is 120, this is 30. This has to equal 30 as well because these three angles are the three angles of a triangle. And by these three, I mean this one, this one, and this one. So from 180, if you subtract 30 plus 120, which is 150, you're going to get 30. If this is 30, y has to equal 150. Why? Because y equal 180 minus 30 equal to 150. Well, if y is 150, this angle has to equal 150 as well because they're vertical angles. Now, this angle is x. Why? If this is x, this has to equal x. They're vertical angles and they're congruent. Now, if I add these four angles of my quadrilateral, 150, 60, 70, and x, the sum should be 360. How do I know that? We know that, I'm going to write it here, we know that some of the n interior angles of an n-sided polygon equals 180 times n minus 2. In this problem, our n-sided polygon has four sides, so n is 4, so this turns out to be 4 minus 2 times 180, which turns out to be 360. So that's where we're getting 360 from. So now I'm going to do my math over here. I'm going to use a different color. I can draw this conclusion. I can say 150 plus 60 plus 70 plus x equal 360. OK, what's 150 plus 60? 150 plus 60 is 210. 210 plus 70 is 280. Therefore, I can write this. 280, which is 150 plus 60 plus 70, is 280. Plus x is 360. So now, what's x? x must equal 360 minus 280, which turns out to be 80 degrees. So x is 80 degrees. x is 80 degrees and y is 150 degrees. Those are my answers. This and this.